Baruch here with GenConnect.com, and we're joined today by Saad Mosseini, the chairman of the Moby Group. How are you, Saad? Good, thank you. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for being here. Good to be here. How does the TV landscape in Afghanistan look different than it did, let's say, a decade ago? Well, uh, well, a decade ago, uh, we had some television, but 14 years ago, we had no television in the country. Uh, television was introduced in the 1970s. It somehow chugged along for a decade or so, and then when the Taliban came, they banned all media. So uh, when we first went back to Afghanistan in 2002, there was no television. And by 2004, when we established, I think it was the third TV station, um, it was something completely new for, new for a whole generation of Afghans. And they're calling you Afghanistan's first ever media mogul, so clearly you understand the media landscape better than anybody else. What is the TV consumer in Afghanistan looking for that might be different than what the American market is looking for? Well, there are a lot of similarities, uh, not just in terms of uh, American viewers, but I think that viewers generally tend to favor the same, same similar types of formats, and that's why you see formats succeed around the globe, whether it's The Voice or Who Wants to Be a Millionaire or Deal or No Deal. And even the soap operas, I mean, a lot of soap operas are adapted for different markets. So the consumer ultimately is not that different. I mean, we're not, not just in Afghanistan, we're a regional company. And what we've discovered is how similar we are as people and how we consume. You mentioned The Voice, and I know that you're introducing that, that TV show mm -hmm. to your market. How do you think that your viewers are going to respond to it? Why do you think that they're going to respond so well to that format? I, the, the voice is very special because it in, entails me, uh, mentor, mentoring young performers. And uh, in Afghanistan, like a lot of uh, countries in that region, when people become, when people become uh, you know, decide to become a performer, uh, a singer, for example, they tend to get mentored by, by a teacher. And that could go on forever, basically. So this, this format really is suitable to, to our market. So it appeals on a cultural level. It does, yeah. Speaking of culture, are there certain cultural sen sensitivities that you need to take into account when you're developing or introducing programming? Is anything off limits? Yeah, a lot of things. I mean, obviously, we've learned from, from our mistakes, and we do push the envelope sometimes too far, and we have to, I suppose, to uh, uh, step back a bit. But ultimately, I mean, the country is, is very conservative, uh, hasn't been exposed to too many things. But, you know, every single day that uh, we push a little bit, you know, we've made we've made an advance and, uh, and that to us is very important because media can play such an important role in terms of facilitating social change. The country, how it per uh, perceives uh, itself since say 2002 is, is a very different country. What's been the best piece of advice that you've received on this journey to moguldom? Well, you know, we have, we're, we're very, uh, first thing, I don't, that uh, the mogul. People are saying it, I'm just quoting. But, uh, we, you know, we've been very lucky. We have some very good friends and some very good mentors ourselves. Uh, we have people like Tom Freston, who founded MTV on our board. Um, you know, we obviously, our company's part owned by News Corporation. We have good people from News Corporation who's, you know, who help us. But I think that, you know, we just have to be very careful. This is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Sometimes there's a, a certain keenness to do too much. And I think uh, we have to ensure that we, we don't rush too quickly and uh, fall over. Saad Mosseini, thank you so much. Thank you. And to learn more about Saad Mosseini and his work with the Moby Group, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.